हेलो नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट एंड यू वाचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा Another attack in Pakistan this time on the Gwadar port bomb blast and a gun fight baloch militants went after chinese investments there yet again we'll bring you the details and discuss why china should cut its losses and exit gwadar meanwhile in india it's election season and prime minister modi has two invitations from ukraine and russia what do they want can and should india broker peace in this war we'll discuss that in vietnam they'll name the third president in one year Thanks to a massive corruption crackdown, will this political churn hurt Vietnam's economy and investments? India is looking to ramp up deep sea mining to power its green transition. We'll tell you how. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni has declared war on deep fakes. She's gone to court after her own images were used for pornographic content. In Argentina, is the president shock therapy helping the economy will bring you the numbers in senegal elections after much chaos uncertainty and delays ms dhoni steps down as csk captain we we'll look at the story in the brand and a man playing chess with a neuralink brain chip how does it work is this the future also why is macron going viral for his biceps yes we are talking about the french president all of that coming up ahead the headlines first The US urges immediate ceasefire in Gaza at the United Nations circulates a draft resolution this is the first time Washington has done so since the Israel Hamas war began earlier the US had blocked all drafts using the word immediate this change this change in stance comes amid fears of a famine in Gaza Just weeks ahead of election in India Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested the enforcement directorate arrests him in the liquor policy case the central agency says Kejriwal was a quote and quote conspirator in the graft case this is the first time in India's history that a sitting chief minister has been arrested In India the opposition Congress party says it has no cash for election campaigning in February the income tax department froze many of the party's bank accounts Rahul Gandhi says the party has no money to support its candidates says it's an assault on democracy Indonesia's opposition candidate calls for a fresh vote after his election loss Anis Baswedan challenges Prabowo Subianto's victory at the presidential poll he claims rules were unfairly changed to allow the outgoing president Joko Widodo's son to run as vice president. Switzerland becomes the first developed economy to cut interest rates. It was a surprise move by the Swiss National Bank. The rate cut by a quarter points is the first since June 2022. The SNB said inflation is likely to stay below 2% for the foreseeable future. And taps run dry in Johannesburg as South Africa's largest city faces an unprecedented water crisis around 6 million people live in Johannesburg intense heat and a crumbling water infrastructure are being blamed for this crisis